and today I am doing the Artist Trading Card Challenge for Pick a Stick, which is a Facebook group, uh, Pick a Stick Challenge. And uh, we have two challenges each month. This is the Artist creating, Trading Card Challenge. The other one is for a journal page. So if you want to know more about that, follow us. Um, I also have a playlist with all the stuff from this year on it. but. Um, the first prompt is soft, so I'm going to grab a soft brayer and a soft uh, gel press because um, the wild card on here is plate. Well, this is what they call a printing plate. So I'm going to use this. The color uh, for this month is this kind of tangerine-y looking shade. And let's see, uh, what do I want to use on here? I need to get something down for the background, so I'm just going to grab, just here's some uh, Liquitex copper. And I'm working on it, this is a piece of uh, manila cardstock, nothing, nothing major here. Get that, get my soft, get my soft brayer. And just put some of that down on the plate. Don't need a lot because we're not working on a very large surface. And let's put a little bit of texture of some kind in there. I've got a, here's a nice stencil. Let's use, I don't really want that one. Let's use this one use this. I'm just going to go over the top of that and pick a little bit up to get a pattern. And I need to put that off on something. So now I've got that going on. I'm going to take my card, press it down on the plate, grab something to pick up the rest of that with. No piece of paper go unpainted. <laughs> and I have my background for my artist trading card, right? Alright. So that was soft and plate. Uh, the next thing says Scraffito and Crumple. Well, I think I'm going to skip the Scraffito for now. Scraffito is just scratching into something. Um, I'm going to go on to Crumple because I've already used two steps, so I can very easily use Crumple. I'm just going to crumple up some, uh, I've got, you know, I'm just looking around my desk, see what I've got out. I've got a uh, paper towel here, and I'm going to take some of, let's see, I've got this uh, spiced marmalade which is close to the color and I'm going to take my crumpled paper and I'm just going to transfer some of that spiced marmalade with my crumpled paper Okay, so that's crumple. So we've met pretty much what we need to for the challenge, but hey, we're not done with this. We're nowhere near done with this. Um, so now I want to add some more texture to this. So I've got a stamp. This is from, uh, it's called Dragonfly Collage from Technique Junkies. It's S381. Uh, I'm going to grab that. And I want that, I don't want that to stand out too much. I want it kind of in the background. So let me see, what do I want to use? What do I want to use? Let me get some walnut stain oxide ink, distress oxide, and figure out what portion of this stamp I want to use. I don't have the image on the back, 
So I've got to look at my stamp and say, uh, I kind of like this area right in through here. So I'm going to going to ink that just right in that area and take my ATC and put it down on my stamp and pick up that image by rubbing. Okay, so now I have this Get a rag, clean off my stamp, and put that back in the pouch so I don't get it lost. And we need to dry that because both the paint and the image are still a bit wet. So let me take this this, put this to the side because I'm going to use that again. Grab a heat tool, gently heat this, okay so that's not totally dry but pretty much dry. So now I want that Distress Oxide Stain once again. I need one without a lid on it. There we go. I'm going to use, I store my pads on the back side with just a little Velcro dot. So it stays with that. And then I'm just going to do the edging on my artist trading card. Just like this, very easily pick up some of that ink and do that. I think I also want something with a little more depth. So I will grab a, if I can find it, here's a, oh dear. <laughs> fingernails back so now I can't grab anything. Alright, here is a uh, ground espresso which is a little bit darker yet. So I'm going to use that ground espresso and just come in on the very corners. So, and then get my rag once again, clean the ink off of my work surface, put the pad back where it goes, and then I will get my spritz bottle, which is right here, and I'm going to spritz this. This is the before, and I want to put a few water droplets on there, see if we can get some reaction. Let that work for just a minute. Get a little more of that off of my, can you see the water drops on there? All right, and I'm going to grab that with my towel and I'm going to heat set. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Lovely layers. All right. So now I need to put something on here for a focal 
So let me go find that. Okay, so I have these uh, folders with all kinds of bits and bobs in them. And I leafed through and grabbed a few things. I like this gal here. I think I just need to release her from the paper. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time getting fussy about how I cut this out. Um, I don't know if I want the butterfly or not. I'll cut around it just to get it there. See if see if I do or not. Um, looks more like a moth or something than a butterfly, I guess. And this is paper from uh, Susan Leonard Kasmer and Ranger, so it's readily accessible for you guys if you're looking for imagery like this. Um, you can go to the Ranger website and buy it, or I'm sure there are a number of other online sites that carry this sort of thing. Okay, so, yeah, I think I like her. Yeah, I do. I don't know if I like that butterfly or if I want to do a different one. I also pulled out, I've got a, this is just a piece of um, die cut. I think I might put in behind her. So let me get my glue stick and get to going here. Yeah, this this is more of that paper. I considered this uh, queenly looking gal. But um, let's get the glue stick and get this stuff down. This didn't pop out. And I'm not going to use the whole thing, so I'm not going to worry about the rest of it over there. Um, here's my YooHoo trusty glue stick. And I'm just going to put some glue on this edge where I'm going to apply this die, get my rag, and pick up anything that is in between there. And my scissors to cut this off. like that. Looks kind of lacy doily, right? Then we've got this gal. So I'm going to glue her up. And apply her to this piece right down here. Like so. need to trim that out. Okay. And then, let's see. I need a quote of some time, type, and I also, let's see what I have. Um, do that butterfly. Do I want that butterfly? I think I do. And I think I'll use this. It says Dreams of Beauty. And let me get my glue here. Get that down like so. I will trim that off. And I will get a marker wherever they are. Don't really think I want that one. That's too bold. Um, here's a, here's a Stabilo. So I've got a brown Stabilo and a watercolor brush someplace. There we go. Okay, 
So, yep, that's got water. One of the things I don't like about this is how white that background is. So I'm going to shade that out a little bit. And go around the butterfly. Or the stabilo. And maybe even my image and my quote. Just get a little shading in there. This just helps to uh, separate out the focal image from the background a bit. And that's why I do this. And I think we could still use a little bit over here on this side. That one seemed to. Okay. There we go. Okay. Hit that with a heat tool. And that's our artist trading card for, what did I say? August. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So pick a stick challenge. Come and join us, won't you? There you go. She's all finished. Bye for now, guys. Remember, you make a difference, so be kind. <laughs>